Okay, well, perhaps not the best lighting for filming, but that's okay. Keep my face obscured in this veil of shadows. Um, so, I want to do a video, one, introducing the new goats. I've caught some footage of them. So, I had the two goats, Boats and Totes, Nigerian Dwarfs, Dairy Goats. And a long time ago, I also made the commitment of buying these three other goats that are Pygoras, Pygmy Angoras. And they were just delivered today. They came up from somewhere in the south, Tennessee, I think. So they come from far away to join the herd. So I got one doe, because there weren't many does for sale, so that's the only one I could get, and two bucks. So with the intention of getting them together in the future. So it ended up being an interesting weekend. Today, filming this, it's Monday when the goats arrived first thing in the morning. But this past, you know, a couple days ago, Saturday, Boats got out yet again, um, but this time trampled one of our cats and ran down and attacked my very young daughter. It was a level of aggression that I haven't seen, and it really upset me and kind of disturbed me because it's one thing to, uh, you know, it's one thing to have goats that are mischievous and get out of their enclosures, you know, the goats. But to actually show that kind of aggression, it like really upset me. Now it's, you know, part of it's probably, you know, youthful exuberance. Every, everyone was fine, by the way. Everyone was fine, just startled. Even the cat that got trampled was fine, but we were, we were scared. We were scared that the cat was hurt. And so Boats has always been the troublemaker getting out. Totes has learned to get, get out since then out of the electric netting, which is off camera, so you can't see. Um, but Totes, when she gets out, she basically just wants to come up and sit in my lap, because she's a lap goat. Uh, Boats is not aggressive to us, but again, to smaller creatures, like my very young daughter. So anyway, it put me in this whole tailspin of emotions, like, what did I get myself into? Maybe I should just sell these goats. What the hell am I doing? Even having a homestead. So all these big life changes I made to start this homestead and continue, you know, go down this path and try to live out this dream and, and et cetera, et cetera. It just, it kind of all blew up, and it really made me second-guess everything that I've ever done, both as far as this homestead's concerned, and really life in general. Because it felt like I made, you know, on top of this, spending tons of money building these fence panels, which I have still built more of them, to try to keep these pesky goats contained, as you'll know from la last uh, uh, older videos. But it's like, spent all this time and all this money and all this energy for what? What kind of investment is this? Like, at what point do you just you know, you just cut your losses and be like, all right, done with these goats, done with home and said stuff, done with everything, I'm just done. And, you know, it's, you know, it isn't just, it isn't just goats. Part of the reason why I'm even on this homestead is because of all the stuff that I've gone through in life and just feeling like my entire existence has been this constant investment and in this constant input in a bad investment or something. And that really hit me kind of like on a deeply emotional level. Like it really, really put me in a bad place. Cause then I'm like, it's, you know, life, it's easy to accept that life is a struggle. It's, it's harder to accept that, you know, um, it's harder to justify that struggle, I guess, to like keep going and keep, keep pu pushing and keep moving forward. Cause it's like, it's, it's like again and again, you're like, what the, what the hell am I doing? Like, what am I investing in? What, what am I, where's the payoff? So that's, that hit yeah, me hard because it's kind of part of a bigger theme in my existence. So, I don't know, I contemplated selling it, it, the boats at least, or boats and totes, and I contacted the breeder even. I didn't end up, and we got the new goats who came in, and they're sweet as pie. Like, um, the bucks are basically just sitting there in the shade hanging out, and the doe is a little skittish, but she's holding her own against these two thus far, boats and totes. I mean, totes, oddly enough, being usually the, being the more submissive, at least compared to boats, has been ramming and trying to like huh, goad this uh, this new pygora go doe into fighting and establish dom dominance. And the new doe is like, all right, whatever, and just sort of like hanging out. So it's been an interesting interaction thus far. I'll keep you updated as it goes on. I've got a little bit of of footage I'm going to share regarding that, but I really just wanted to talk about this feeling of I hit a space where I felt like I was giving up, and really that's that's the theme. It's like what am I doing? Taking on all this stuff. And 
I, I'm sure I'll talk about this a lot because it's a common theme throughout, like I said, my existence. So, you know, I guess I want to end on a positive note. So I want to say, you know, you just got to keep pushing, it, it, whether it's the homestead, whether it's your, your very existence, you know, you just, life can be a struggle, but there is payoff and there is beauty and there is joy. And you really need to push through those difficult times and just keep going and keep moving. Just keep swimming. And you'll get there. You'll get there. So this is a kind of a weird video. Um, happy goats and not so happy subject maybe. Maybe happy subject. But I wanted to share it because it was on my mind. And I appreciate you hanging out and listening and being there. So if you, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, like, comment, etc, etc, etc. Thank you for being here and good day. So Boats and Totes are clearly trying to re-establish some kind of order amongst the goats because now it's just not them. Their approach is a new challenger. And more goats. So my three new goats have arrived. So despite having a kind of a rough weekend with boats, which I will hopefully get into in another bit of footage, the three Pygora arrived today. This, they are thus unnamed, but he's a cute little doe. And my bucks. They have babies. So these are Pygora, these are fiber. These are pygmy angoras, so fiber sheep. Super adorable, super fuzzy. They're still really, really, really afraid. So I'll leave them be for now. Oh, that poor thing's all by herself. My plan is to, right now I have them separated with a fence panel, but once she gets settled in a tiny bit, I'm gonna open it up and let them go to town. The second I put her in there, these bo both boats and totes are like rearing up and bucking the fence. So that's interesting. But more on them later. So new, yet unnamed, Dopygora has been let into the enclosure with Boats and Totes, my Nigerian dwarfs, and no major violence has happened. Now she is kind of alone, so there's two, it's kind of two against one, but she's also a little bigger and she has horns, so I think she'll be able to hold her own. She's now walking through the houses, trying to find a good place to chill. I don't know. I was, I'm kind of glad this is not as dramatic as I thought it would be. I, when I first put uh, Nudo into the adjoining area, I had them separated by fence panel. And boats and totes were like rearing up and hitting the, the fence trying to get at her. So I thought it might, there might be huge amounts of drama, but this seems to be okay. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, and new doe stands her ground. Sorry, totes. Again, I, one good thing is if this new doe, because she's, I think she's a little older, a little bit bigger, if she ends up being the dominant, it may keep these two little troublemakers in line, especially this one, Boats. This is the one that constantly gets out and also stomped on, trampled one of our cats and attacked my daughter, my young daughter. So more on that later. I haven't actually commented on that yet, but this one made for a very, very difficult weekend this past weekend. Um, adorable, but... Difficult. Oh, oh, oh! Toast tried again. New Pygora dough is un ooh, unmoved. Alright, I should get out of here and just watch them, make sure nothing bad goes down.